I am Thomas and this is a short presentation of visual data. I have created this presentation a few months ago. I will repropose it quickly and then I will show a few new features of visual data. As mentioned, mentioned in a media wiki comment, I don't push for its adoption. However, I'm using it in some real project and I'm happy to support people interested to test it out for their projects. Unfortunately, I entered the media wiki world or ecosystem quite late in 2020, so I'm at least 10 years late of your pace. Another quick comment is that given the short time I had available and a few variables related to the trip, a pre-recording seemed a viable and comfortable option for me. First, I have to say that I started the last year, one year and a half actually, Presentation by saying that page properties now corresponding to visual data wasn't a competitor of page forms, flash forms, and other kind of form processors. Unfortunately, now I have to say that visual data is a direct competitor of semantic media wiki, cargo page forms, and other extensions for the management of wiki articles through properties and forms. This short rainbow just to provide an explanation for the fact that I have actually put a considerable amount of work not only on visual data but also in other work and extensions also taking into account that as already mentioned the last year it is possible these are the last years we can have fun with all that. So I'm just pressing on the accelerator before going on holiday. Naturally we hope this isn't the case. Now, in the past presentation, there were some comments regarding the adoption of AI assistance by even AI programmers or AI junior programmers. As mentioned in a chat on Element, I am personally opposed to it because while a generative pre-trained transformer is like an hyper-advanced search engine with grammar generation, it does not mention their sources by contrast to the articles or tutorial you find on the internet. So there is a kind of systemic infringement and I will refrain to adopt it for code or product production. I will be possibly slower but that's it. This does not exclude that I can use it sometimes for consultation when I have no clue on something. Also I forgot a slide which is this one. Visual Data is a full-fledged metada metadata management framework based on JSON scheme, able to record, twist, record, organize and query collections of data on your week. Its development has to be traced back approximately on October 2021, when I inserted to the extension page properties a set of features and special pages to manage semantic media wiki, semantic properties to IUI. Here there were some more remarks about the name of the extension. The current name is not perfect, but it seems to work. I wanted to call it Wikidata, but as you know, it comes too late for that. So let's keep it as it is for now. Here there is a more adequate comment. I'll still not the optimal solution, however, the current name is not so bad considering the particular media wiki context in which the OOUI library has been designed mainly for the use of visual editor. And visual data actually makes a huge use of the OOUI library since through its user interface you can use most of its widgets and literally several hundreds of configuration attributes. Now there were some comments regarding the main components of visual data which are the schema builder to create JSON compatible schemes completed with the instructions for UI components, the form generator which automatically creates fully wiki compliant forms from the scheme, recording of data in article slots and result printers. This is the original slide about this. I think or I assume visual data is great to model that on your wiki since you can do it through a UI schema, bi schema builder and the schema builder looks more intuitive than standard JSON schema generators mainly for the way it treats the arrays not considered a specific type but an option for a child scheme 
On the other side, the underlying code is enough complex that it would require a redesign by a little team of professionals specialized in JSON scheme, mainly with aim to ensure it can be maintained with ease. Here there was a short comment and then the following slide. Therefore, you understand that the extension is now enough vast that I cannot ensure it is coded in an optional way in all its parts. On the other side, I'm already noticing some attention by members of the community, among which programmers, therefore some progresses could still be, be done in a natural way. Also, the extension is not so vast as Semantic Media Wiki, and the core components correspond to just one file each, like Query Builder, Schema Processor, Result Printer. Database manager, etc. Therefore, al tuf all is recursive in visual data, it is approachable in a fairly easy way. Here followed some technical indications, but I will resume them later if they fit in 10 15 minutes with other comments. So, the other comments are the following. I think I have inadvertently switched some of the slides, I apologize for that. I'm currently working on an important extension that fully showcases the power, if I might say so, of visual data. It is an email and marketing automation platform which makes use of all its advanced features like data tables with multiple items per cell, of course pop-up forms, query URLs, integration with Lua and really much much more. Recently, I have also been working on search panes for visual data. Ajax, Ajax is automatic depending on the limit and amount of data. Carousel format based on Sleek. Now also the Adaptive 8 works well. A general technical redesign of the query processor. And this is more funny, a cards layout for data table search panes. Now I will showcase a few screenshots taken from wikisphere.org. Please note that visual data is not yet completed with unit tests. However, there is an increasingly large range of live tests and demos which are tested at each new release. This is the carousel format based on Sleek. This is the parcel function. This is Edward Hopper. This is the form to edit the pictures. This is a similar demo but with the upload. Plus with adaptive aid. Also note that with Visual Data really everything is configurable so you can create a form and related data structure to store pictures completed with caption and titles to be used with the carousel format or other formats. This is a form with dependent values. Note that it relies on more than 600,000 database entries distributed in about 250 wiki pages, JSON format, and the query is not very slow. This is a dynamic catalog with search panes, Ajax and a single page to display the data of all countries. Uncaged, loaded a script file. This is the related parser function.
This is geolocation using Maps Tyler and of course the extension Maps. This is a series of queries, also complex, used for testing. This is a crude by which you can interactively update the table. The related data are stored in subpages JSON content model. This is a demo for the use with nested schemes, hierarchical data as you would do in Semantic Media Wiki with the dot operator between properties in the query, and it is actually a contribution of a colleague. I have found I cannot save now data for an issue. For now, I will stop here since I have to check how much time it took. Meantime, I thank you, I have fun with the extension and if possible, contribute to the code base. Mm -hmm.